The London Olympics are just 80 days away, and one local athlete who has a great shot at not only making the U.S. team, but also coming home with a medal, is Hampton track star Francina McCrory. Chris Reckling has more. The clock is ticking for Hampton native Francina McCrory. Each day, she moves one step closer to her dream of making the U.S. Olympic team. It means a lot. I've never made it an Olympic team before, so I'm working really, really, really hard. Because like you say, we only get the opportunity every four years. It's not like the NBA playoffs or the Super Bowl. They get it every year, so it's really important to be dedicated, to be really, really focused to make the team. The former Bethel and Hampton University star is one of the top 400 meter runners in the world. But until she qualifies for the U.S. Olympic team, there are no guarantees of representing the U.S. at the Summer Games in London. It's exciting, but then it's, it can be kind of nerve wracking, but it's like bittersweet. The next couple of weeks will be critical for Francina McCrory. Next week, she leaves for a meet in Shanghai, China, and then it's a little over a month before the Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon. I think if you run fast in Shanghai, it, it sets the tone for the rest of the season, heading up into the Olympic trials. But we don't want to go to Shanghai and make mistakes. We want to make all the mistakes at practice. So Shanghai is very, very, very important. It's the measuring stick for the next four weeks. McCory trains six days a week with Hampton University track coach Maurice Pierce. It can be at times boring and monotonous, but Pierce reminds her daily that the finish line is in sight. The Olympic dream is a dream, and I think she's been dreaming about it for a long time, but she has so many obstacles in her way with car accidents, injuries, and just so many setbacks with family problems and everything. So I think this right here is like the ultimate of ultimates, and I think she could just, when it's over with, she could breathe, she could sit down and look back on her life and say, well, you know what, it wasn't that bad at all. I'm glad I went through all that stuff to get me where I am now. Track is such a mental sport, so, you know, your body could be physically ready and you could be physically fit, but if your mind doesn't match, then it's all a waste. Reporting from Hampton, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.